Okay, so this is Ace Lewis. In this video, I'll show you how to create a ZeroNet proxy for the, a public ZeroNet proxy. So, in a previous video, I showed you how to create a private one for your own personal use. However, in this one, I'll show you how to create one for anyone to use. So, first off, you probably want to use a domain with your proxy. It's optional, but um, it is much better. You can buy domains for pretty cheap from Namecheap, you know, .com, .net, .org, whatever you want. You can also get domains for free, so Freenom. Here you can get, you know, get zeronetproxy.tk, .ml, .ga, whatever. Uh, all these domains are 100% free, um, but they are not that good if you want to get ranked on Google or something. That doesn't matter. Uh, so once you have your domain, you can add it to your DNS provider. My DNS provider is Cloudflare. So what we'll do is we'll first set up the Zeronet um, server and then we'll connect it to our DNS. So first off, what we have to do is we CD into the plugins and you can see here the multi-user plugin is disabled. We want to enable that just by um, multi-user. So just renaming that. As you can see now, it's it is renamed and now if we CD out of this I have a um, zero net configuration um, that I've made earlier net.conf and this all this is is global UIP accept all and UI port 80 so we want it, if we're running a web server we want to run it on port 80 this helps with the DNS and also it some like schools or something might block ports that aren't like port 80 or 443 just the default ports and if you it might block 43110 and if you just use port 80 that will easily bypass that block so if we exit this now we can start python zero net.py we've then started up our server on port 80 so if you know remember from before uh, IP, which I don't actually remember. All right, a quick cut. I uh, now have the IP address. As you can see here we didn't need to put colon 4321 because we have it on port 80. Now what? Now this is now a working public proxy uh, that is fine. So th if you give that IP to anyone, they can just use this, and it's uh, now a public proxy. However, if you want to bind your domain name to this, so people have something a little easier to remember than a, a port number you need to go to your DNS provider so specifically on Cloudflare you want to put on flexible SSL you then need to go to your DNS settings we need to add a record so we're going to go zero net record put the IPv4 address in here add this record here we go so this now points to that to one uh, our IP address. So what we can put here is https colon slash us zero net dot lewis dot com. Click enter. Ooh. DNS can't be found. Uh, what I'll do is I'll cut back because uh, DNS takes a while to propagate. It might take five or ten minutes. So I'll come back in five or ten minutes and we'll see that the DNS is hopefully propagated. So the site will work. Okay, so I'm now going to load the site in Edge just because uh, Chrome has cached the DNS, uh, the, the fact that it can't get the DNS. And as you can see here, we have it running HTTPS. Um, and this is a public proxy that I can give to anyone, and they can then go and use the proxy, log in, do whatever they want to do. Um, so if you open up a private window, and go into it. As you can see here, it tells you the unique account that you, that, uh, you should use. So there we go. You have the, we've now created a public ZeroNet proxy. It uses HTTPS, so um, at least the internet service provider can't see what sites you visit on ZeroNet. And one benefit of using Cloudflare as well is the person hosting. So I, if you used my ZeroNet site, I wouldn't know who's using it because Cloudflare don't forward the IP address of who 
connects to your site so it gives a bit more privacy not not 100 percent privacy because cloudflare know and could theoretically um know what you're you're browsing on the zero net proxy so there you go i have a this video is based on a video I did previously that you should definitely watch if you haven't uh, watched it, which is how you can set up a private Zeronet proxy. This is just an extension of that video. I'll also put on screen another video, which I think might be useful to you. Um, stay subscribed and like the video. It really helps me out. Thanks um, and goodbye. Oh, one quick thing to mention. If you create a public proxy for Zeronet, it would be great if you'd shared it with me so I could add it to the uh, Zeronet meta proxy. And uh, that will allow a lot more people who may be on mobile phones to access and surf sites on Zeronet. So if you do create a, a, a public proxy to help out people, it would be uh, great if you also maybe message me on Reddit or left a comment here on YouTube of the proxy so you can help others out too. So thanks and goodbye.